Hello everyone, Nadim here with PC Solutions Net. Uh, I want to talk about online archive. I get a lot of questions about that, so that's um, another thing you know. Uh, uh, get to talk about what it is and what it accomplishes. So you might remember from the old days um, where your mailbox used to get so big, and then you had to manually archive out stuff into PST files, and then you end up with these PST files, uh, you know, like. Uh, every year or every two years and, and you have to maintain these huge PST files as well. So that was an ongoing problem and that's the problem that Microsoft set out to solve when they came up with the idea of online archive. Think of it this way. It's an archive that's a separate mailbox but it attaches to your primary mailbox and it's all online so you can still search it, you, you always have access to it but it's not sitting in your primary mailbox, so that, that whole mailbox is not getting so big and, and slowing everything down. So let's, uh, let's go over that uh, real quick, uh, and uh, we'll see uh, what it is like. And I'm going to show you in, um, in the Outlook Web Access. It's the same way. It looks the same in Outlook uh, on, on your local machine as well. So... On the left-hand side, if you if you scroll down, you'll notice that there are several folders here, and what you're looking for is the archive mailbox. Let me collapse uh, some of this here. So this is the inbox, right? Some folders under there, and then if you scroll down, you'll see a mailbox called archive mailbox. Now, if I click the arrow next to it and I open it up, I have several folders in there. Now these folders are going to be the same folders that are under your regular mailbox. The difference being some of the folders may not exist yet. So if the system had not had to archive anything in a specific folder, you won't see that folder. But in like in my inbox, uh, there, there is a bunch of stuff. So when I click it, it will load up all the stuff that is in my inbox and you know, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, conversation history, uh, whatever you have. So this is what the online archive is. Now, it's just a separate, think of it as just a separate mailbox that you have access to. Now, here's um, how it works. So on the back end, your IT admin will create a policy. And that policy can be something like archive everything after three years, right? So once that policy is applied to different people, now, of course, you can have different policies for different people. Uh, so if a policy says archive after three years, any item that hits that three-year threshold will automatically get moved into archive. Now, the system will preserve the folder structure here. So if you look uh, on the inbox, you know, you have several, several different folders here because as the system archives stuff, it will preserve the same folder structure and hierarchy as you have under your regular mailbox. So it makes it real easy. You have access to it all the time. Uh, everything just works. All the information is always there. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're using your uh, regular Outlook or if you're using your Outlook web access, you have access to your um, uh, archive all the time. Now, you know, this is a little different than when you uh, used to export it to PST files, because if you remember, uh, you had to be in the office where the PST file was physically sitting on a drive to be able to access them. You couldn't access it from home. Well, that problem is solved. So that's uh, what online archive gets you. Um, just be sure to set the proper policies for your organization, uh, what you want to archive, and uh, the system will take care of the rest. Uh, until tomorrow, have a good day and uh, be safe out there.